Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ridwan Ibrahim. In this particular video, I will be showing you how you can use an auto lisp to create a bridge deck in AutoCAD. But before I dive into it, I will just explain what a lisp is. Auto lisp is a programming language that is built by engineers or programmers to suit the purpose at which they want it to suit okay the basic reason for it is just to increase your productivity okay so now let's say for example what you have here is a bridge deck you have about four cells okay if you want to create a similar thing to this but you have three number of cells in what you want to create or you have you can see the length of this is 15 meter if what you want to create is about 12 meter and then you have like three cells you know that drawing is different from this drawing but they have the same principles the only difference is just in the number of cells and the total length of the of the deck so you have to go through the process of drawing everything one more time but with the app of a list all you just need to do is you keep inserting what you need so for example if you need three number of cells you just use it if you need two number of cells you just use it you know it will make your work very easy and fast okay so now let's see how we can achieve that with a lisp all right we will be creating exactly the same thing so let's take note of the dimension of this bridge deck the total length of the bridge deck is 15 meter and the depth of the deck is 1.5 meter okay the cantilever the length of the cantilever start from here up to this end and it is what 1000 meter and also the number of cells we have here is four numbers okay so if that is fine we can just um let me delete all of this the first thing you need to do is you have to possess the file for this particular lisp okay to get this file i'll be dropping the download link in the description of this video so that you can get it freely and then you can apply it all right after downloading the file you can place it anywhere on your computer just make sure you know where exactly it is placed if that is done the next thing to do is to load that particular lisp file okay to load that just press upload on your keyboard and then you can see upload you click on that now we will have chance to load that particular lisp so um just look for the location at which you've placed your list so this is the one we'll be using you can see deck okay so click on load now you see deck has been successfully loaded if that is done then you can close <clears throat> now click on okay since you've loaded it the next thing to do is to activate it you have to use it so on your keyboard just press deck or dec or whatever that will just enable you to get here now you will see i have deck here if you did not load that list you will not be seeing it here so you have to load your list before you come to this stage it is process by process now i will click on this deck now look at the first question it asked me it says as you enter the width of my deck i want to use a width of 15 meter so press 15 it is meter not millimeters so enter now enter the depth of my deck i want to use 1.5 enter it says i should enter the width of the cantilever i want to use one as i have said enter and now it says i should enter the number of cells but one thing you should keep in mind it says the cell has to be less than five so i can only input one cell two cell three cells or four number of cells anything above that you will not be able to use this list okay so now i will enter four number of cells and then enter now all i need to do is just be patient for it to load up the deck okay so here we are it took me directly to the layout i can always go back to the model so i'll come to the model tab here now i can just see them you can see i have six sections all together you can see this particular section it is between pias poo and poo zero un so you just check through you can see the length is 15 meter the depth is 1.5 and then the cantilever 1.0 number of cells everything like that you can check other sections too you can see this section too it is a location shown on the plan so you can see other sections to just check through and then you are good to go so this is what you use a lisp for 
an auto lips can be tailored in any way you want to use it for example you can use it to detail your structural members in the next series of videos i will be uploading videos on how you can use a lips to achieve the structural details of column beams retaining walls staircase and any other drafting of the remaining structural members that you may want to detail so watch out for the video it will be very interesting and interactive thank you for watching if you like this video make sure you give it a like if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly give it a subscription because in this channel you'll be enjoying explicit content of civil engineering thank you for watching